Hello, Alan Steady here again with Firewalls.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to configure DHCP static IP mappings on your Sophos XG firewall. Let's go ahead and jump right into the web admin and take a look. To configure or edit our DHCP server, we'll go ahead and head on over here to Configure and Network, and we'll select our DHCP tab. So in my example here, I already have a DHCP server configured for this network that I'm going to be demonstrating this on. But if you haven't created your DHCP server, just go ahead and click this Add button, where you can then define the interface as well as your DHCP IP lease reservations. And just right here is where we're actually going to be adding our static IP MAC mappings. So I'll go ahead and cancel this here. And because we already have our DHCP server running, chances are we already have our hosts connected, so they would have already pulled an IP address. We could see that right down here in our IPv4 lease table. So what we can actually do here is review our IPv4 lease table for all of our connected devices where we can see the current IP address along with our MAC address, which we're going to need both of those, and we can also see the host name. So the client host name is what's going to give us a little bit more information, and hopefully based on our client host name, we can then make an informed decision on whether or not that particular device is something that we want to deem as a trusted internal device that should be allowed to be connected to our network. So this is just another way that we're able to control the devices that are able to connect to our network. So since I'm dealing with a relatively small list, well, an incredibly small list, I'm just going to go ahead and copy our MAC address from right here, where in some cases, if this list is rather long, you might just want to go ahead and copy and paste this into a notepad or, or a Word doc. So I've copied the MAC address. I'm going to come up here to our DHCP server, go ahead and poke in our MAC address, enter in the machine's host name, followed by our IP address. So if we already have a dynamic lease table, configured for our DHCP server, the IP address that we set here cannot be within the scope of our start and end IP. But if we're doing a full implementation of our static IP MAC mapping, at the end of the day we're just going to go ahead and remove our dynamic IP lease table. So we'll go ahead and give our machine an IP. Removing the dynamic IP lease table. And save. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes. We can drop down here now and see that our IPv4 lease table has assigned our device here our 10.0.1.50, which is exactly what we configured up here in our, in our DHCP server. And we can also confirm that down here. Just go ahead and open up a command prompt. And there you have it. So now you can see when we combine DHCP static IP mappings along with IP Mac spoof protection, and our properly defined firewall policies, we significantly increase our ability to control the devices and traffic traversing the network. And that's really it. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, give us a thumbs up. We're always looking for new video topics, so if you have any video ideas, leave that feedback in the comments section below. And be sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel so you're notified of future video releases. And also come and check us out at firewalls.com. Get secure. Stay secure.